This is amazing. Now we have Llama Factory. Easy and efficient LLM fine tuning. You will have an interface like this where you can choose multiple models, use LoRa for fine tuning, choose what data sets to use, and finally you're able to start training. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Llama Factory. It supports many models. Today we are going to train Quen model and it supports pre-training, supervised training, reward modeling, PPO training, DPO training. By default, it's provided with a list of data sets which you can play with to learn how to do fine tuning. Finally, we are able to log into Hugging Face and then upload that to Hugging Face repo. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Two things we need as a prerequisite. One is Hugging Face token. And next is Weights and Biases token. This is optional just for tracking our process. First up, git clone Llama Factory and then click enter. Next, navigate to the Llama Factory folder. Now conda create hyphen and llama factory python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Now conda activate llama factory and then click enter. Now pip install hyphen our requirements.txt and then click enter. Once that is done, pip install bits and bytes transformers stream generator and hugging face hub and then click enter. Now you can use hugging face hyphen cli space login to log into hugging face. Here you can enter your hugging face token. Once that is done, click enter. Add token as git credentials, yes, and it'll get automatically saved. Next, we're gonna type CUDA visible device equals zero, use modal scope hub equals one, Python source slash train underscore web dot py, and then click enter. Now we got the URL, and after opening the URL, this is the user interface. So I'm going to use Quen 1.8 B chat model. Here, the data set which I'm going to use is Glaive tool call. So if you preview the data set, this is like from a human, you're going to ask this query and we are going to train Quen model to identify if a function calling is required or not. If a function calling is required, it will automatically mention the function name and then send the original price and the discount percentage to the function. Then the function can respond back with the actual value. Then the large language model can process the request and give us the result. So that's what we are going to train. You can even add your own training data set by following these steps, which I will provide that in the description below. Next, we are gonna choose number of epochs, the maximum number of samples, the batch size, gradient accumulation, and finally the output directory. This is where the model will get saved and this folder is used to finally push it to hugging face. If you click start, it'll automatically start, but just because I'm using Mac, this is not going to run because I'm going to show you because of this FP16, it says failed here. If you see the terminal, it says FP16 because of that it's failing. So I'm going to not run using user interface, but if you are using a computer which has a graphic card, then this should work. But in this case, I'm going to run via CLI. I'm going to cancel this, then going to use these values. So you can see the model name what we are using. I've decreased the number of epochs to one, maximum samples 5,000. Batch size is four and gradient accumulation steps is eight. LoRa rank four. Just to finish my tutorial quickly, I've decreased all these things, but you need to have it to the optimal level. So towards the end, you will have a good model. You can even generate the command from here by clicking the preview command. As soon as you click that, the command is ready. So you can just copy and paste it this in your terminal. As I have already mentioned before, I have decreased these values and I have removed FP16 line from here. Coming back to the terminal, I'm gonna click enter and run this code. Now this will automatically download the Quen model and start training. During this process, it asked me for the weights and biases token, which I've entered now. Now the training is going on. I can see the loss is not steadily declining. That's because we are using low numbers just to show you quickly how to run this tool to fine tune. So if you increase all the values like epoch value, which is here, increase the number of samples, increase the batch size and gradient accumulation steps. By increasing those things, you should have a steady loss. Ultimate goal is to get this loss decreasing. That means your model is predicting more accurately. Now the training is complete. 
Here I can see totally one epoch, 62 global step. The loss is 0.26. Finding the metrics got saved in weights and biases. Here is the weights and biases dashboard. You can see the GPU usage, GPU utilization, network traffic. Just because we trained only little, we had only one point to show the training loss. To upload the model to Hugging Face, provide Hugging Face CLI, then upload, then provide the location where you want to upload the model, then the path where our model got saved, and then click enter. This will automatically upload the model like this, and you can use this code to test your model. The code will look something like this. You import PEFT and transformers. Make sure you pip install PEFT and pip install transformers before running this code. Here we are using Quen, the chat model. Then we are providing the model ID, which we have just uploaded to Hugging Face. Then you ask the query here, and finally you print out the response. Now I'm going to run this code, python test.py and then click enter. And finally, here is the answer. This might not be as expected, because we trained in very less parameters. Increase those parameters and then you get a better response. This is just a quick way to show you how you can train the model. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.